Although the Japanese cats may not share these same worries, the impatience of their empty tummies still upsets the serenity of their mornings. While the owner prepares breakfast, Kurumi, the kitten, is kept away from the frenzy. But order is quickly restored and everyone falls into place. of stealing from a neighbor's dish. Even Kurumi can eat peacefully without being disturbed. As soon as the meal is over, the cafe opens its doors to human patrons. They take off their shoes and wash their hands to keep any germs away from the cats. It didn't take long for Kurumi to get used to the coming and going of visitors. All those slippers don't disturb her in the least. She still plays with Konatsu, but also interacts with the patrons. That's her role here, which is convenient considering predation is second nature for domestic cats. <laughs> Kurumi feels at home and even marks her territory, like the full-grown cats. Beneath their paw pads are scent glands that emit pheromones to mark where they've been. They may be domesticated, but they still need to satisfy their territorial instinct, which is why scratching posts are so useful. The cats rub up against the patrons to mark them with their scent, making them, in a way, part of their territory. But this is different. This cat is busy kneading, a nostalgic reflex. A trip down memory lane when it would need its mother's belly to nurse her milk. All domestic cats retain kitten behavior. It's actually their biggest difference from wild cats. When they curl up on our laps, it's like they were nestled against their mother's tummies. When we pet them, our hand reminds them of their mother's tongue cleaning them. For them, we are like substitute mothers. Comforted and content, they purr like when they were kittens. The vibration is as relaxing for them as for us. And it keeps their muscles from getting stiff when they stay in the same position for too long. Sleep is an important part of their life. 16 hours broken into a succession of short naps. When they're not asleep, cats spend a third of their time grooming themselves with their rough tongue covered in hook-like bumps. It's the ideal tool for cleaning and brushing their fur, but also for getting rid of the scents humans leave on them.
And for those hard to reach spots, friends come in handy. Too much grooming, however, can also mean a cat is bored. Are these animals confined indoors and pampered like living plush toys happy? We'll never know. But although they've escaped the risks that come with freedom in exchange for this comfortable dwelling, there's no doubt all their instincts are still intact. The proof, when Kurumi is presented with the screensaver of a cell phone. This digital butterfly is the only thing she'll ever be able to hunt.